This is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm in the copper box of Rock the Box 3. I fortunately just bumped into Ricky Boyle and he's part of the Bradley Skeet and Louis Petit entourage today. What's happening, Rick? How are we doing? Yeah, I'm all good, mate. All good. Um, obviously, two good wins for the gym today. Yeah, Bradley Skeet and Louis Petit. Yeah. Um, Bradley obviously just won the WBA and the Continental and, yeah. you know, Points win over Christopher Sabiri, so we must be happy with that. Would you reckon? How do you, how do you assess his performance? Yeah, I, I think you know um, he got, he got the rounds, the rounds in the bank, and that's that's a uh, that's all that matters. You know, he just gone 12 rounds for the first time, and that's that's always good to know that you know he, he can do the do the rounds. Sabir, he, he, he's a tough opponent at the end of the day, um, you know, and and he, he beat him well, to be honest. So yeah, no, it's good. WBA international uh, title as well. Is that right? WBA international belt uh, in the continental. I Sorry, think it is. Yeah, continental. Good, good little trinket to have. What do you think about that? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's going to uh, bump him up the ratings, and, uh, and yeah, you know, it's going to. It's only. It's only going to benefit him and push him up the ratings. Whether he takes that route or the British route is is a different story. But you know, at, at the end of the day, he's still going to be ranked in the in the WBA. So. It's good. I think it's the top 15 or top 20 or something that puts you in. So, yeah, it's good for the future. Fantastic time for yourself at the moment, having just signed to Matchroom Sport. Everything looks to be kind of going your way at the moment. Talk to me about that, Rick. Yeah, no, I'm buzzing, mate. Absolutely buzzing. Um, you know, it's brilliant. Ed, Eddie and everyone at Matchroom, they, they've been they've been good to me, you know. Um, I was, first of all, I was, I was buzzing to win the title on their show in December and then... Um, yeah, and then to sign with them, you know, it's, it's brilliant. It's going to be a good year for me. I uh, just can't wait to get back in there. Now, it must be quite frustrating for yourself. You haven't sparred or fought, obviously, since your, since your Southern Area win due to a perforated eardrum. Is that quite frustrating because you've got your new deal? There's so many potential shows you could fight on and so many things that could happen for you at the moment. You're just itching to get back in there. Yeah, no, that's it. It is, you know, it is horrible, obviously. I've been training, I've been doing pads, everything else, um, running, everything, but just one thing I can't do is I can't spar because of the ear um, the doctors have said don't spar until it's fully healed because if it goes again it will just make it worse so you know at the end of the day I want to be busy this year and um, it's, it's best to obviously leave it to heal properly and you know just can't wait to get back in there though now from Eddie Hearn's point of thinking I'm sure he wants to keep you as busy and as, as in as less stress as, as, as probably possible with, while building your profile yeah. Does that kind of write out maybe a mandatory straight away? Because I know John Wayne Hibbert's your mandatory. He's been quite vocal in terms of saying how he wants to fight, how, how he thinks he deserves the fight. Do you think that fight will happen straight away or do you think you'll be Eddie, Eddie be more looking to keep you warm? Yeah. Listen, listen at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm injured. I'm still injured now. So, you know, I, I, can't, fight, I can't fight if I'm injured. But... At the end of the day, it's a fight that I want. John Wayne Hibbert and all of his silly fans, it's, it's a fight I want. It's a fight that will happen. It will definitely happen. Um, you know, I'm the champion. I, I, I'm allowed to warm up. Eddie said I can have a warm up and, you know, I'll have to warm up. Why, why wouldn't I take the warm up? It's, you know, at the end of the day, if I can take it on a, on a massive show and, you know, not do it. There's no, there's no reason not to, so, yeah. It makes financial sense for yourself as well, doesn't it? Exactly, exactly. But you know, if he was in my if, if he was in my shoes, I'm sure it would happen. Um, don't get me wrong, he is he is my mandatory, and he does deserve to be my mandatory. At the end of the day, he sort of stepped aside in December for me to box for the title because he that won. True? Is that true? Then he did actually step aside to let you and Tony fight. Well, sort of, yeah. But I don't think he was ready to fight for the title anyway, because. Um, Someone I know knows him, and he was injured. He, he had a broken nose or something. I don't know. But um, so yeah, you know, fair play to him. He did step aside, and you know, but the fight will happen anyway. So it, it, it doesn't matter. It's definitely going to happen. I get the impression that this Southern Area belt is not kind of the be end all of all things for yourself, Rick. I know it's a great trinket to have, but are you looking at it as a stepping stone to, to, to push on? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, Eddie's laid out a plan for me, and. Uh, you know, I, I just can't wait to get to get to get it underway. You know, um, obviously, hopefully, towards the end of the year, 
I'll be starting to push on for English British titles, you know, as long as I keep winning then then, then anything can happen. So yeah. There's no reason why that fight it would just been a bit bombarded them, I'm sorry Rick. There's no, no reason why that can't that fight can't grow and maybe be for even an English title or something like that, is it? Yeah, that's it. There's no there's no reason. Um obviously I think um Tyler Goodgen's got Tyrone Nurse for the English yeah. in April. Um but yeah, you know, the fight's going to happen. There's no, there's not, no me running, running away from the fight. I want the fight probably as much as him. So, yeah, you know, it'd be a good defence. His style suits me, so looking forward to it. All right, well, listen, um, keep me up to date with the news with the eardrum. Let us know when your date's next date's announced. No doubt we'll hear something. Yeah. Uh, thanks for giving me a bit of time today, Rick. No, I will do. Thank you, James. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. This is James Holder, Ricky Boylan for IFL TV. Thank you. Cheers, mate.